project I'm going to share with you today. Um, just a quick story. When I was uh, little and we would get our Easter baskets, um, it was always so exciting to sort of sift through it and see what was in there. But inevitably, some of the stuff that was in there, like uh, there were M&Ms or uh, Reese's Pieces or jelly beans or anything that was small would tend to sift down through the Easter grass and get lost in the bottom of the basket, which no big deal because you just lift out the, the grass and you can uh, pull out the candy and everything. But inevitably there would be candy, precious candy, that would get uh, lost somewhere in the grass and you wouldn't find it until the following year when you pulled the Easter baskets out again for decorating. So um, I have an idea for how to prevent that. Um, and uh, it takes a little bit of extra effort, but uh, it's kind of fun. And um, well, we'll see if it works, all right? Okay, so what I've got here today, I've got uh, an Easter basket, kind of a fun uh, square-shaped Easter basket. Uh, of course, got my Easter grass, um, and I've got sort of an assortment of candies for uh, filling the Easter basket. Also got the uh, cookie box. I did a video about that. Uh, if you're interested in learning how to make it, uh, check that out. Um, and a couple other types of candy. I've also got um, some paint, paintbrush, uh, scissors, some ribbon, and um, this piece of corrugated cardboard that I have cut out that fits inside the Easter basket. Um, fits pretty snugly. Um, what we want to do is basically create a false bottom in the Easter basket so all that precious candy doesn't get lost in the bottom. Um, and if you're interested, you can put uh, a gift underneath this cardboard, maybe a t-shirt or uh, a little boxed gift. If you have something that you uh, aren't sure how to wrap to put on top of the basket, you can always put it on the inside of the basket. And what we're going to do is we're going to um, make it so that this pulls out easily. We're going to put some ribbon handles on it. Uh, we're also going to paint it green um, or whatever color your Easter grass is going to be. I encourage you to sort of paint it. It helps to create the illusion that the grass is a lot deeper than uh, it looks like it is. So I'm going to sort of clear all the area around out of the way so that I can uh, get to work painting the uh, cardboard square. All right. Okay, we got the area cleared and uh, I'm going to go ahead and paint that cardboard insert. Uh, I've got a shade of green. This is called light foliage green. Um, it's an acrylic paint. Um, you can get it at any craft store. Just giving you a good shake. Um, the, path, the color of the, the paint of the bottom of or that that false bottom doesn't have to be exactly the same color as the grass itself um but uh if it's similar then that again that kind of helps to create that illusion so i've got it shaken up pretty well i'm just going to paint it i've got a, a, a cutting board underneath or a uh what do you call it a self-healing mat underneath the paint uh you can see I've got paint splotches everywhere, um, so I use it for this purpose a lot. But you just want to protect your, your tabletop. And we're going to give this a good, just a quick coat. It doesn't have to be uh, perfect. You can, uh, don't worry about seeing brush strokes or anything like that. Um, it really is just a matter of we want to get the, the color um, sort of across the surface so that you don't see it through the grass. I think if I have any Easter stories to tell you while we're where, while I'm doing this, uh, the one that stands out the most is uh, and I don't remember why I don't remember any of the details, but my younger brother Jeremy uh, was I was of the age where I knew the, the uh, knew the the harsh realities of of the world and and how the Easter Bunny had uh, surrogates that came around to uh, everyone's home. It wasn't one single Easter Bunny, etc. But um, I had, for some reason, had a set of ears, um, sort of a, a headpiece that had rabbit ears on it. And I think I even had the rabbit costume. It may have been a, a Halloween costume or something. Um, so uh, for Jeremy, I dressed up like the Easter Bunny and uh, went out in the front yard. And uh, I had like my older brother, Jim's uh, sneakers on. So my feet looked huge, um, and I had this outfit on, hopping around out in the front yard, 
uh, out on the farm. <laughs> and I know mom got a big kick out of it. She was always laughing about it and sort of remembers that. And I know at one time we had a picture of that, of me dressed as the Easter Bunny. Um, I have no idea where it is. I'm sure it's it's entertaining and I'm sure uh, it'd be a fun, a fun thing to sort of uh, discover. But at this point, I don't know exactly where it is. So if I ever track it down, I'll be sure to share it with you. Um, okay, so we've got the, the base painted. And I'm gonna let that dry for at least half an hour. I just wanna make sure that I'm, I'm not getting paint all over myself um, as I start to assemble the basket. And um, in the meantime, I'm gonna go wash up my tools and um, sort of make sure that my workspace, the paint is, is wiped up and everything. Uh, and then we'll keep going on the project. Okay, so our piece of cardboard is fully dry now. And we're going to go ahead and um, put some handles on it. Because when we stick it down into the um, the basket, it, it fits pretty tightly and we want to make sure to be able to get it out. Um, certainly if you've put a gift in there, um, but also uh, just so that you can dissemble the whole thing when you pack it away. Um, or you can leave it in there, obviously it's up to you. Um, but I've got this tool, it's sort of a metal uh, awl, okay, if we're up. so it's very pointy, it's, it's um, very sharp. So you want to be careful with it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch holes in the cardboard in two of the corners. Um, and these will become handles for pulling the, uh, the insert out, excuse me, when, um, when you want to get to the uh, underneath the, the, the false bottom. And I've got some silk ribbon. It's about a quarter of an inch. And we're going to feed that through the hole, which I guess what I need to do is put two holes in. <laughs> All right, we've got two holes in the corners. And now I'm going to uh, feed the ribbon down through. You can use that same tool. Uh, you may need to get something uh, it's not quite as sharp. You can feed it through there pretty easily. And then I'm going to snip off about six inches and feed the other side down through so that you end up with a loop on top. See, we got a loop on top and both the strings on the bottom. And then we're just going to tie this off. Make sure you keep some of the loop available on the, the back side when you when you tie it off. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. So about six inches. Feed it down in the one side. Take the other end and feed it through the other hole. Sometimes this goes smoothly, sometimes not so smoothly. Okay, there we go. Again, loop on the top, I'm gonna tie it off on the bottom. Okay, so now we've got our two loops and those will give us our handles for pulling it out of the basket. Okay, so we've got the basket, we're going to uh, set this in. Just want to make sure that the ends of the loops get uh, into the inside of the basket so they're not sticking out. You just want the, the loops poking out on top. All right, so there we've got our basket. It's got the false bottoms. We have the little handles that we can pull on. Um, actually, before I do that, I'm going to pull this back out because while I don't have a package or a t-shirt or anything like that to put in, I do want to put something in there to provide a little bit of, of um, padding so that the um, that false bottom doesn't get pushed down completely. This is kind of a square um, Easter basket. So uh, because the, the insert is square, it might actually sink down a little further than I want it to. But if I put a little bit of bubble wrap, if I put some paper, some sort of wrapping in there, um, it should help to keep it from pushing down. Um, so reposition this and there we go and it's about inch and a half down from the top so that gives us plenty of surface uh, and depth 
to put our grass in and then also to put the, can the all important candy in. All right. Um, okay, so um, I've got my Easter grass here. I'm going to sprinkle it around. And you can see you need a lot less than you would if you were trying to fill the entire basket with grass up to the top. So uh, it saves uh, a little bit in terms of that as well. So see, it looks like it's a full basket, but it's actually only got um, a tiny bit of Easter grass in there. You can add as much or as little as you want. You can have it overflowing the sides. Um, I like it kind of sitting down in because the uh, I want to make sure that all the candy that I'm putting into the basket, you can clearly see. So get that positioned in there. Um, now I have a couple of cookies. Uh, this is something new that I did this year. Um, I decorated cookies. Here I've got a butterfly and a tulip. Uh, I put them on popsicle sticks so that um, I could get a little bit of height in my Easter basket. Um, so this is a kind of a fun project. I'm going to do a video on uh, popsicle stick cookies later on. It's not up yet, but I will have one up there. Um, but I thought this would be a nice little combo to go into the basket. And again, it gives it a little bit of height. So what I'm going to do, take that same tool that I had before, the, the little metal awl, and figure out where I want to uh, position these cookies. And I'm thinking maybe a little bit in the back so that the um, the foreground can be the, the candy and the cookies can kind of be the backdrop. So I'm going to, um, I can actually take the grass out because there's so little, it's really easy. So I'm gonna just kind of poke a couple holes and um, twist them around a little bit because you wanna open up the hole so that it's big enough to fit the uh, popsicle stick in. Okay, so we've got that. Uh, I've got the tulip. I'm gonna set that down in. And just kind of carefully work it in. Don't press on the cookie itself because uh, the cookie is, is uh, relatively fragile, but the popsicle stick uh, is pretty sturdy. So we can drop that in there. So there we've got the uh, the flower. And we're gonna do the same thing with the butterfly on the other side. Make that hole a little bit bigger. Uh, I don't like putting so much weight on uh, the insert. Okay. There we go. So now we've got the nice height of the two cookies in our Easter basket. All right. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead now, put the grass back in. And I did push the, the base in a little bit deeper than I had originally planned. So I'm going to add just a tiny bit more grass um, just to make sure it looks, it doesn't look like it's, it's empty. I want to make sure it's, it's full enough. Okay. So there we go. We've got the Easter grass, we've got the cookies, and now we can proceed to just put our candy in. Um, another project that I had worked on, which is another video that I've, I've got on my uh, channel, are the, uh, the candy cookie box, candy inside. Um, we can set that in here. And then I've got uh, some of the, the delicious Cadbury eggs. Um, we'll set those in here. And then I've got M&Ms. Now the M&Ms, because you don't have so much thick grass, uh, the, I'm sorry, the, the jelly beans, because there isn't so much thick grass, the jelly beans will be able to sit on the surface a lot better. And even if they do go down into the basket, into the grass, uh, they're not gonna go very far because there's only a little bit of grass. Uh, I got some Hershey eggs here. Sprinkle those around. Of course, Reese's peanut butter cups. Can't not have those in there. And then I've got some Hershey chocolate coated eggs. Um, I can sprinkle those in. So there, you got a nice little Easter basket and like I said, we've, we've uh, accomplished being able to fill the basket um, without all the candy falling down deep. Um, obviously, you can put any sorts of things. You can put filled plastic eggs with M&Ms or jelly beans in here. Um, you can put additional cookies. You can put 
um, chocolate covered marshmallows, which are my own personal favorite. Um, but uh, yeah, it's kind of a nice little way to go. And, and again, I like having these cookies in the back because they provide a little bit of height for the basket. Um, if those weren't in there, everything would be sort of at the basket level, but these sort of stick up and give it a little bit of additional, uh, additional height. All right, hope you enjoyed that and uh, happy Easter, happy spring, and please check out my other videos, uh, follow me, and um, we'll see what happens next. Mm -hmm.